Cynthia from Orlando. How old are you? I'm 30. 30. Okay. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a child of God. I don't do zodiac signs, but yeah. Don't believe it. Mm -mm. The Lord didn't make them, did it? Yeah, the Lord don't believe in no zodiac signs. All right, child of God. Do you have any children? I do. I have one child. How old is your child? He's six years old. Okay. What you do? Um, have you ever been married? I have not. Okay. What you do for a living? I'm a training coordinator. A training coordinator? Uh-huh. For what? It's for a Walmart. I work for Walmart. Okay. So who you be training at Walmart? Pharmacy technicians. I ain't know Walmart had a pharmacy. I'm a Walmart get on my nerves. I love, I mean, I'm not trying to just face the job. But I got 12 cash registers and one person working. Yeah, I don't work in those Some, departments. I don't know. Somebody, please coordinate. Please, baby, stay still. Stay still. Okay. All right, let's get it. This is uh, Matensia out of Orlando. She's 30. Mm -hmm. um, she doesn't do zodiac signs. She's a child of God. She has mm -hmm. one child that's six. You say a son? Yeah, he's a, one son that's six. He's a training coordinator at Walmart. Um, put training. What type of? Excuse me. Don't put the part of Walmart. Just put training coordinator. I don't. I don't want my business like that. Mm -mm. Okay. All right. You, you, is that what you do with that? Yeah. 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 But I don't want the the business, the company in my business. You know. I got you. I got you. Okay. What type of man are you looking for? I'm looking for a God fearing man. Um, a man who is confident in himself, who's respectful, mm -hmm. and um, doesn't have a problem with like how I dedicate my time to my child. It doesn't have a problem with how you dedicate your time to yeah. your child? Yeah. Why would that be an issue? Um, because my kid is at like a he's at an impressionable age right now. So like, I need to be around him a lot more until I can like give the ranks to his father. So I have to be like around my child a lot. Do you think you have time for a relationship? Yeah, I, I make time for what I feel like is important. Okay. All right. Does he have to look a certain way? Yes, yes you do. How you gotta look? You gotta be black. Huh. That's very important. Okay. Um, He's got to be well put together and clean. Okay. Yeah. He doesn't like have to be like how over overtly attractive, but he just has to be like he has to look the part, you know, look good. Okay, just black, clean, and look good to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? No, as long as he can like provide for himself and provide for others if he has to. Yeah, he's it's fine. Okay. Provide for others. Fuck is you talking about? You mean be provide for you and your kid. Be specific. <laughs> be real specific. <laughs> it mean provide for others. Here we go. She opened it up. Virtue signaling. She don't believe in zodiac. She don't believe in nothing if it ain't written in that King James pamphlet. All right. She's a she's a good old Christian woman. Glory to her. All right, her man coming in got to be a child of God. I mean, got to be, I <laughs> have the fear of God in them because she a child of God. All this God, God, God. Oh, by the way, <laughs> by the way, she got a six year old kid out of wedlock. Don't worry about that. That Don't worry about that at all. All right. <laughs> this sister here, she is like, like prototype modern woman. She 30, got this six year old kid. You know, she got, she got this. High ranking position that Wally World, you know what I'm saying? And she ain't bad looking. She is an attractive sister by anyone's standard, at least in the face. She giving not blow out and she giving bossy and forehead polka extraordinaire. Uh brother Zach says, stop moving the camera. That's all he said. And and she got whoa, you she was taken, she was taken aback. By a man that she called on on the show to say stop moving the camera, she was taken back by him saying stop moving. He says the only type of women who want God fearing men are born again three hundred fours. So, you know, man, this dad is adding up. That that statement there seems a little far fetched, but it it really ain't. 
That's truth. <laughs> and shout out to my guy, Red Pill Ranger, in the building. He says, with the $5, he says, if your life revolve around your child, around your kid, stay single or just get an F buddy. Exactly. Because no man with options going to sign up to be second class citizen. She is. She will physically accost you. I'm trying to tell you. This is not a nice lady. There we go. Do the Kendra Cam, sister. She better be fit as a freaking fiddle with her aggression. She aggressive. <laughs> All right. Um, what are your deal breakers? My deal breaker is a man who um, does voodoo. Um, does voodoo? Anybody who, yeah, anybody who practices in like dark magic, anything that's not God, of God, I'm not with it. Um, yeah. Okay. That's about Good. it. Um, oh, yeah, and disrespectful to like people just like who doesn't know how to speak who doesn't have like confidence how they speak and like just 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 a disrespectful person have you ever dealt with somebody who do voodoo i don't feel like disclosing my business but i feel like that's my number one deal breaker since it's so you can tell that's something i have dealt with in the past you don't feel like disclosing your business we on here on a dating you're on a dating show that don't mean i gotta tell everybody my i don't know these people all right, girl. Um, what age range you want to date? 28 to 45. All right. All right. Um, would you date long distance? Nobody in California, but yes. Let's do the Kendrick can. Oh, okay. I already have bad lighting. It's your house. I ain't going to do it. I don't know how to... I don't have like video setups in my home, so I don't really know how to like set myself up. But I mean, this is how I look. Okay. I'm a petite you. woman. I'm petite. I don't weigh more than 140 pounds. So yeah. And I All work right. out. You don't have to answer if you don't want when the last time you was intimate with somebody. Um, earlier of last year. Okay. Like, where? like is that person that personal option? Did y'all date? Um, no, that person's not an option. And yeah, we did date. Okay. Okay. When was your last relationship? My last relationship was in 2021. What happened? Why y'all break up? Um, we had just different beliefs in things. I just must be the boot. So <laughs> it seems like she's very like picky and titled. And, and we say it's a lot of time about can you be a baby mama and still be so picky, have all that that list, or you just gonna remain single? I don't know. Listen here, that's that's old news with these bold questions. This is some new stuff. Where hey, could you get break out your Kindle Fire? So she don't. <laughs> this godly woman up here don't want to disclose the last time she was hunching. Why she was dating equals hunching in, in this modern day market. Get that understood. Dating, hunching, same thing. She don't want to disclose the last time she was hunching because, oh, golly, Miss Sister Teresa got hunched on by the voodoo man. No. <laughs> I don't know. She 140 pounds. She said she worked out. Ah, uh, there we go. She is fit. She is fit. So that's a plus. Hence the attitude. Here we go. Mr. Walker's theory. Why can't none of these? She ain't the sister ain't ugly. She's she's a handsome boy by her demeanor. Okay, if she was up here pleasant holding a, a freshly baked apple pie, it wouldn't be so bad. But she's a handsome boy. <laughs> but why do all of these attractive sisters? She got a lot of makeup, so excuse me. I'm going off of the look. All right, why do all these attractive fit sisters got to be so mean? All of them mean girls. None of them sweet and pleasant. Because they know they today's modern woman is becoming the man she claims she so desperately hates. She's becoming Mr. She's like, I know I got this leverage. I'm going to use it till I can't no more. <laughs> so here we go, man. I'm going to keep going. Ooh, man. All right. Uh, <laughs> what's What's been the gap? Like, what's been the, what do you think the biggest issue has been within like 2021 and 2024 when it comes to dating? 
Oh, the gap? I think the gap is because I'm busy and because I don't, like, have the time to dedicate to dating. And, like, all the people that I have been dating has been trash as hell. Excuse me, Lola. But, yes, they've been trash. So, um, I just don't take it serious. And I think right now I want to take it serious. What do you think three of your flaws are? Um, I'm impatient. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm very sure of myself, which is a problem sometimes because it makes you not like easily, like you don't listen. That's a, that, that's a positive flaw. That I don't well, like, that's not a flaw being sure of yourself. Not listening like is a it flaw. It could be a flaw. No, well, I, I listen, but like, if it's something that I'm sure about, like, I'm not gonna like, like, I'm not gonna take advice on it. Like if it's a dietary thing or something like that, yeah, you, you ain't gonna get me to change. That's not a flaw. Something. That's not a flaw. I know, but you somebody changing changing your mind and do something that you know is bad for you isn't a flaw. But are you saying that you're stuck? Man, she was starting to get real combative. So, like you said, apply a little bit of pressure to these mercenaries, and the mask start coming off every time. Oh, glory to the Godfather. Get that from him. And it's so true. That's why they say men are disagreeable by nature. By our nature, we're disagreeable to because we're always seeking the best outcome. So we ain't always going to agree because maybe there's a better way. And we always in search of the All right, message. So as soon as you disagree with one of these sisters and and they just can't take it, they going to get combative. They don't have that feminine energy has ceased to exist. It's gone. It's all going. That's the true sick hoodoo. All your feminine energy going. Now use a handsome boy. Use a fit, petite, handsome boy. Is that not a sick joke? That's like that's like a Edgar Allan Poe plot twist. <laughs> Come on, man. Fit. She fit. Petite. You know, uh, ain't ain't ugly, but she out here angry, aggressive with a whole bastard child talking about God, this God, that moisty. <laughs> over shout out to divine photos <laughs> so this is to here as we've been doing all 2024 we making examples yes. we ain't playing you know you need to be more pleasant and humble man understand your position that self-awareness is beautiful self-awareness is attractive to men listen kev said it best that's where this is coming from you could be halfway blowed out, but if you like, you look, I'm in the gym, I'm trying to get it together, and you express that to a man that you're seeking or seeking you, that's attractive to me. Like, okay, you aware. I can work with you because you are aware. But if you think you a perfect 10 and you down here scarfing down uh, two dozen wings, fry hard, all flats, you know, more days than not, can't, can't get down with your sister. So with that being said, the band at the 50 folks. <laughs> and shout out to Uptown G5 for the five dollars. He says she doesn't need a man, she has a son husband in the making. Mm. Hope not. We hope not. We hope man. And why why Skinner Man Cave come through? Says single mother with six year old has no leverage. Zero. Out outside of child support court, you know. Mm, much leverage there. <laughs> <laughs>